Wonderful evening to everyone, to club president, district officers and guests, and especially to our speaker Eric. Today, I saw a cool, calm, collected speaker standing here. What I like about Eric's speech is that he expressed sincerity in his speech. He told us about the background of his story. He joined Toastmasters for two years and about five months. He told us how he achieved the Competent Leader Award. Another area that I like about your speech is your delivery. It was well paced, it was not too fast, not too slow, and there were appropriate pauses in the speech so that we can absorb what you're trying to tell us. The best thing that I like about your speech is when you express your gratitude to the people who have helped you along the way and to the organization which presented you the awards. Eric, you are a, you are a speaker who has great potential. I've seen him competing in contests before and he was one of the he was placed in one of the top three. For you to be even a more powerful speaker, here are some recommendations. Firstly, to add more credibility to your speech, tell us a story. A story with dialogue. Because as all of us know, facts tell but story sells. Tell us a story with dialogue. You mentioned about when you did your competent leader award, the exco helped you along the way. Mention somebody's name. Tell us so that we have a picture in mind. And then maybe you can create a dialogue in your speech. For example, you can say, when I look at the menu, there were like 20 to 30 appointments. I wanted to give up. I told Pravin about it. And Pravin said this to me, Eric, it's not, it's not the, it's not the end that counts. It's the journey that counts. And don't give up. I'm sure you can do it. We will support you all the way. Something like that, so that you can add more color and flavor to your speech. The second recommendation is prepare the stage. When you came up, came up, I noticed that the screen was reflecting somebody's PowerPoint presentation. So as a speaker, before you come up, you have the right to ask the sergeant at arms to prepare the stage for you. Even before you can come out, you can actually stand by the side and ask the sergeant at arms to prepare the stage for you. Then when everything is okay, then you can step up so that you will not be awkward standing here while the screen is going up. And then you can even prepare the script for the president who is presenting you the awards because he may not know what he might not know what to say, so you can actually prepare a script for the President Pravin to say, today we are going to present Eric this award. This Competent Leader Award is achieved by doing 20 projects. He has to organize this contest, he has to organize this event, so that everybody will have a better understanding of what this Competent Leader Award is about. So in conclusion, Eric, I felt that you are a great, you are a great speaker with great potential. As long as you consider my recommendation to have a story, and to prepare the stage before you come out to speak, I'm sure you'll be able to deliver a more powerful speech in the future. Thank you, Mr. Russo.